will show you how you can put this VHS type look on your edits so they finally stop flopping and you can go viral. All we need for this is After Effects, so let's get right into it. As you can see, in my case, I want to put my VHS look on this clip of Christian Bale in the movie Wolf of Wall Street. And the first thing we want to do is add a new adjustment layer. To do that, just head to the top row and under Layer, click on New and select Adjustment Layer. Now, why you want to add the adjustment layer is pretty simple. Once you have a lot of effects on your original clip, it's going to be very hard to keep track of it. So we're going to put our effects on top of the adjustment layer and it's therefore going to be easier and way more organized. Right click onto your adjustment layer, select rename and I'm going to put VHS look so I don't lose track of what I'm editing. And the first effect that we want to add onto our adjustment layer is the one that's going to be responsible for the lag that we put on it. So go ahead, open your effects and presets palette and search for posterize time. Once you found the effect, make sure to go ahead and drag it onto your adjustment layer and this effect is just simply going to change the frame rate of your clip. Meaning that if originally you have a clip in 60 FPS, you can manually change the frame rate to be appeared in 10 FPS, which is going to make it choppy. In my case, I don't want to have it too choppy, so I'm going to put the frame rate from 24 down to 14. This value always works fine for me, but you will have to experiment with what you like most. Next, we will add an effect that is going to mess up the quality of our edit to give it this typical VHS look. So again, go to effects and presets panel, but this time search for S underscore JPEG damage. Once you found our effect, we're also going to drag that onto our adjustment layer. And as you can already see, the quality looks way worse. Now, the main setting we want to focus on is the one called quality. As you can see, it's currently set to 0.1, but I want to maintain a bit higher quality, so I'm going to put it from 0.1 to 0.1. Now for this setting, the higher you go, the higher the quality is going to end up in. And logically, the lower you go, the lower the quality is going to be. Adjust the setting to your liking and play around with it a bit. Because it's always going to be dependent on your personalized clip, which setting fits best. Okay, so next we want to add these cool black bars around our clip to just amplify on that VHS look. And the effect we're going to use for that is called Optics Compensation. So just go ahead back into your Effects and Presets channel and search for it. Once you found it, make sure to drag it onto the Adjustment layer. And we're first of all going to enable the check mark that says Optimal Pixels. Next, we're going to adjust the field of view and put it from 0 to 35. And as you can see, this effect is awesome because the black bars make it seem like it's bending, which trust me, will add a lot of depth and detail into your VHS look. Because when editing, the most important thing lays in the detail. So don't disregard it, otherwise your edits will look like they've been made on CapCut. And we don't want that. And now the most important effect that we're going to add to our VHS look are these cool scan lines, which are really going to amplify the look of it. In my case, I'm going to use the Sapphire version of the scan lines effect. So go to effects and presets panel and search for S underscore scan lines. As you can see, there's two different ones. And if there's nothing popping up for you, it's probably due to you not having the plugin installed. So if you want to get the plugin completely free, make sure to check out the link in the description to my Discord server. You can download all the plugins you need on there, and it's also a good environment for new editors to be in. Enough yapping, choose the top version and drag it onto your adjustment layer. Now from here on, the most important settings are going to be the line's frequency and the line's shift. Now the frequency is just going to dictate how frequent your lines are going to be, meaning how many lines there are. The higher you go, the more lines are going to be, and the lower you go, the less lines are going to be. I like to just keep it with 50, so I'm going to stick with that. And the line's sharpness, I'm going to put from 1 to 2. Now very important, break your time indicator to the beginning of your VHS look. Now set a keyframe for the lines shift and go to where you want the effect to end. Now here you're going to change the value from 0 to 5. Now when you play the clip, you should notice that the lines are now actively moving. Now in my case, I changed my mind and also I'm going to change the line frequency from 50 to 45 to make them a bit less frequent. Now next we're going to add a flicker to really get close to that VHS look. And for that, just search for S underscore flicker. Again, if you can't find it, join my Discord server. Drag it onto the adjustment layer and now change the amplitude from 0 0.2 to 0 0.1. Too. What the amplitude setting changes is basically the amount of flickering. And now next we're going to change the random frequency from 30 down to 20, which is going to turn down the frequency, meaning how often it flickers. Now, last but not least, we obviously want to make our clip black and white. And what's easier for this than adding the black and white effect? So go ahead into your effects and presets panel and for the last time, search for black and white. Drag it onto the adjustment layer. And as you can see, your clip is now completely black and white. If you don't want it to be completely out of color, you can also do it another way. Just disable the black and white effect. Go back up to the scan lines effect and put the saturation down till it fits your liking. But as I said, always make sure to adjust the settings to your liking. Because the values that you want to put inside of the effects are always going to differ depending on what clip you use. So don't be afraid and experiment around a bit in order for you to get the best results possible. Now the last thing that you definitely want to do and don't miss out if you want your edits to be viral is adding a good color correction. As you can see, adding a good color correction to your edit can increase the looks of your edit immensely. This won't just result in better quality and cooler looks, but also in more followers and views. Because having a good quality will convince more people that you're a good editor. Make sure to check out the first thing in the description because I'm still currently running a huge sale on my shop. You can get up to 70% off the presets that I use for my edits, which is a one-time opportunity, so make sure to not miss out on it. And let's be honest, we all don't want our edits to look like they've been made in CapCut. So be fast, don't miss out on the offer, and check the first link in the description. And if this video was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and also leave a comment down below telling me what tutorial you want to see next. Actually, subscribe, please, because only a minority of you guys watching my content are actually subscribed. It would really mean a lot to me, thank you. And as mentioned before, if you want to join a great community where you can talk to nice people, get free stuff, or talk to me, also check out the link in the description to my Discord server. I'm basically on there 24-7, so if you have any specific questions, make sure to
to let me know there. I sincerely thank you for watching. And as always, see you next time.